Hello everybody, it's that time of year again when I go up to San Elmo then I go up to Ten Cup Pass and as you can see here I'm looking um, um, around from the top of the pass. Um, I had to do this audio this way because it was so windy up there that there's no way you could hear me talk and it, all the wind would be blowing and everything. It wouldn't come out very well but anyway um, it was a beautiful day a really beautiful day. Um, some four-wheel drives up there. There are a lot of quads up there, of course. Very popular. Um, that's what I was saying there. It's just a spectacular view. <clears throat> you can't beat it. You can't beat it. I just, if anybody else up, out there goes up the 10 Cup Pass, I know they do. They have to. Um, I, w I wish they would put it on YouTube and check it out. Um, I'm looking here towards uh, ten, the actual town of Tin Cup. I'm, I believe it's not a whole lot down there. One of these years, I need to um, go up over the pass and then go down there and check it out. Um, maybe I can do that on my last run of the week, and you know, just prepare for it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. You know, um, I went up there three times this year. Last year, I went five um, in a week span. What about five days span? But uh, one day I went up twice and then I took a day of recovery and then I went up again for the third day. But usually I like to do a lot more. I like, usually like to uh, uh, hit it four or five days. It's just, it's just sometimes how I feel, how my body feels and how fast it can recover. I'm not getting any younger. But as long as that mountain's up there, you know, I'm going to be up there doing this. It's just... You know, I just, it's so fun. It is just so fun. Um, and as you can see, the weather is just perfect. It's a little dry this year, um, which made it kind of great because there wasn't a whole lot of mosquitoes. But um, but the dust, it was just so dusty. Um, I, let the, I always let the four-wheel drive and the quad guys go past me. I'll stop them on a mountain bike, let them go by, and all that whips up a lot of that dust. And it's like, oh, you know, kind of choked me a little bit, but I have no choice. They're a little faster than I am, so they, they, they have precedence. You know, they can go first, which is fine. Um, you can see some four-wheel drives behind me there by the sign. But anyway, oh, it was just so beautiful. Um... Couldn't ask for any better, better uh, weather. Um, and then a while, uh, all the four-wheel drives, everybody left. This little guy here, he started kind of looking at me, coming up to me, and he's like, "Hey, you got some, you got some uh, chow I can have." So I threw him some nuts. I had some cashews and almonds. I bring for some energy, and uh, and so he was just so tame. So I imagine people have fed him a lot. So. I uh, thought, you know, I'll try giving them out of my hand, which is kind of kind of dicey. <laughs> they can kind of, they can nip you on the finger. and you, Especially up there, I have no, I didn't bring any first aid kits or band-aids or anything. But um, you don't really think of that kind of stuff, you know, um, at the moment. So, but uh, <laughs> you can move out pretty fast. You can. Um but it just surprised me when that little guy came up and uh, kind of wanted some food. That's what I was saying right there. I was just saying, hey, that's my little tin cup buddy. I hope he's there next year. I hope he's there next year. I guess he'd go up there and um, hibernate during the winter, I guess they do. so He needs all the food he can get. So if I would have stayed another day and went up um, another day, I would have took a bunch more up there and fed him as much as I could but um, my time was limited this year so but he made my day he made me smile it's pretty cool when you can do that um, I guess if anybody knows that down there at Tin Cup you can feed all those little little chipmunks and they have that little wood area where they just you can feed them some sunflower seeds and so forth. Anybody that's been to St. Elmo knows what I'm talking about. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, that was kind of cool. So, but uh, on my way back down, I wanted to show this little part here where in, a couple years ago an, an avalanche happened. And you can see it just kind of went down here, went over the, the road, four wheel drive road to Tinka Pass, and kind of went up on the other side and just leveled all those trees and forever changed the landscape. There's just, it must have been a you know, big old land, uh, landslide there with snow. So you can just see it, and they had to cut all that wood off the road. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Um, then after I visited this bar, when I, after I got down to St. Elmo, I went down to um, the Alpine Alpine Lake right here, which is which is like six miles down from Tin Cup. So I kind of wanted to show that to you guys. Um, it was very pretty, very pretty area. I didn't see any fishermen. I don't even know if they allow fishermen on that lake, but but it was cool. It was cool. It took me another. 40 minutes to get back at Say Elmo, but it was worth it. Thanks for watching.